Today, we are going to introduce some new features and advanced settings of Panoptics LiveScope. Update your chart plotter to the latest software version. In this video, we will use GPS Map 1223 XSV. 1. More sonar colors. In LiveScope page, select Menu. Sonar Setup. Appearance. Color Scheme. The seven new colors are vivid, high contrast, and will make your target stand out. 2. Beam Icon. The beam icon displays where the LiveScope transducer is aimed. You can switch between different modes. In Sonar Setup, select Layout. Beam Icon. You can choose Head Up, Beam Up, North Up, or Off. To use beam icon, you must calibrate the compass. If your transducer is mounted on the barrel of the trolling motor, the compass calibration will not work due to the magnetism of the motor. It is recommended mounting on the shaft or an auxiliary pole. In sonar setup, select installation. Calibrate compass. Select begin and follow the on-screen instructions to turn the boat at a steady pace. 3. Beam angle. Compress range. The beam angle of LiveScope is 20 degrees, and the range is 135 degrees from bow to stern. The further the distance is, the larger the range represented by the sonar chart is, and it will be more difficult to know where the target is. For example, the range will be about 6 meters with an 18 meter casting. In sonar setup, select layout. Enable compress range. By compressing the faraway sonar chart, you can get a larger space for the target nearby. 4. Beam Angle – Reverse Range The beam angle of LiveScope covers the back of the transducer. If you do not need it, you can choose to hide it. In Sonar Setup, select Layout. Reverse Range Choose your preferred display mode. 5. Tips for Settings here are some tips for settings related to noise. Lastly, here are two sets of setting tips based on force trolling motor. But please note that, when using LiveScope, there is no perfect setting. To get the best result, adjust your settings constantly. And that's it. Thanks for watching.